I came from England in 1960 and uh, I started a book selling company. I had nothing when I came and I built this company up over many years and, and I sold it in 1988 for more money than I ever imagined. Anyway, I looked around for something to do. I didn't want to retire then. So uh, on a trip to Africa, I went to a library in Jinja, Uganda. Now, this was interesting. This library had, had uh, students, it had tables, chairs, it had a librarian, it had the structure of a library, it had library cards, but it had virtually no books. It had shelves, empty shelves, with, with a few books from the British Book Council given to them in 1950. The, the, the books had no spine on them. Can you imagine books on a library shelf with no spines on them? Anyway, I, I came back and I met with the Minnesota Book Publishers Roundtable and I'd been in my business. I'd had a lot to do with book publishers and booksellers and librarians and so we got together and we started Books for Africa. Now, Books for Africa has grown over those years. We have now sent 15 million books. We're the largest shipper of books to, to Africa from, from the Western world. As we sit here, books are being thrown away. A book like this, which has been read, and, and this book, look at that, that's from Pinewood Elementary School, Monticello, Minnesota. It was used in 2002 by Jake, by Caleb in 2003, Louisa in 2004, Logan in 2005. Then what happened? The, the publisher sold him a new book. So what is going to happen to this book? If we don't do something, it'll go in a hole in the ground. Look around this warehouse. <laughs> a million and a half books, and we're doing a, a lot of good. Uh, this book costs about 35 cents to send, and 35 kids will read it. I went to a rural school in Africa, and, and I helped them give out the first books. There were 12 and 14-year-olds. You know, we gave them a box of books. Those kids had never held a book. You know, they, they held the book like that because they didn't know how to hold a book. And you know, I'm having so much excitement doing it. We are, we are the most successful country in the world at the most successful time in the world. But are we going to leave the world a different place than when we found it? Are we going to leave it a better place? The work in the world that needs doing needs to be done today. You know, the problems are going to get larger if we don't deal with them. So do it now. Do it tomorrow. When you're doing something good for someone You're gonna find yourself You're gonna find yourself